Hey everyone, this is Joe with G with Touch of the Brush Model Weathering, and in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways on how you can patch a freight car. So here I got a couple of flat cars from, I believe they're Atlas Trainmen. They are beautiful models. I love these, these bulkhead flat cars. And so the first way I'm going to show you is pretty much just patching the entire, um, the entire number and reporting marks completely. And so I use Anita's acrylics, and I use a flat black paint, and I gently go over the numbers and the letters. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to uh, do a few coats of these. And you get yourself a really, really cheap blow dryer. Don't steal your mother's or your girlfriend's or your wife's. Uh, that may cause problems. But find a cheap one at like a thrift shop. And what I do is I blow dry it. Keep layering it up. keep doing layers and layers and layers and layers on this one here now you can use flat or you can use gloss and the reason why I say gloss is if you're going to put decals over this patch you already have a gloss finish to work with because it works better when you use a gloss finish to add decals right so there you go um, that's pretty I think I'm just gonna do a couple of coats that's it Okay, so once it's dry, as you can see here, you can rarely see it, <clears throat> see the um, letters and numbers underneath. I take a Q-tip and then I cut the tips off and I don't have a knife. <laughs> Actually, I do have a knife, what am I saying? I do have a, uh, <clears throat> I thought I had cli uh, clippers over here. Usually I have scissors nearby, but I think I left them on the layout. Anyway, um, we'll, just, uh, we'll just cut it really quickly. I like using a Q-tip or you can use Heck, even, even these cuticles are cleaning nails out. These are great too because they have nice fine points and they don't scratch the model. And so what you do is you go down here. And you... You try to make it as neat as possible. So that way it uh, looks like they're fine lines. Now you can use stencils and all that stuff, but I've seen plenty of freight cars where the patchwork is not perfect. So don't go crazy trying to make it as a 90 degree angle as on all sides when you do a patchwork. It's not supposed to be perfect, it's a patch. Okay, so that's, that's one way to do it here, okay? So that's one way. Now the next way, it's kind of interesting. Let's say you have a freight car, don't have any decals. And, uh, and you want to do a certain uh, patch on it. So you can take blue, uh, blue tape works, masking tape, any kind of tape really will do the trick. And so what you do is you cut a piece off and then you tape over the letters and the numbers and do all your weathering work. And then you have yourself, once obviously after it's sealed, then you go back and you there we go. So just like that, you're blocking the numbers and the letters. So that way you do all your, your, your weathering work. And so that way it looks like a patch because that part's gonna be absolutely clean. And then you have yourself a patch. So let me do some weathering work on these and then we'll come back and see what the patches look like. All right, so after a couple hours of doing some weathering work here, I have added some gouache watercolor paints, which is a texture paint, and I added some rust spots along here, along the sides, faded in with some a very light uh, Anita's acrylic flat brown paint, just to do some a little bit of fading here to get some dirt. And now we are going to take this masking tape off to reveal the quote unquote way to patch car. So that one's off. Let me take the other one off here. Let's 
So there. So now it looks like there's a whole there's a brand new patch over this card that has been weathered. And that's a one easy way you could do a patch job. Now let's I'm gonna add decals on the other car so it shows an actual real patch. So you can see here, I'll have some close-up video and uh, photos of the cars after this uh, segment here. Okay, so here are the finished products and you can see the different types of rust. Some is light, lighter than the other. And I basically use um, raw, uh, raw sienna and yellow ochre. And in the middle, I dabbed over it the, um, the uh, burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is slightly darker than the raw sienna, right? A um, lot more powders on this one than uh, than the uh, gouache paint. And again, the rust was using the rust was made with the gouache paints. And as you can see here, you can see the different kind of patches. Here is this a, a black patch with uh, decals added, and then over here it's just masking tape over the low the uh, the reporting marks and the numbers. And that's it for that. And uh, once you finish the weathering, you. Uh, you pull the tape off and then you have your your reporting marks that looks like a patch and uh, that's, that's one trick to do it and uh, some of the wheel work here I'll have some close-up photos of the of the cars for you after this video but here here's the finished product um, if you have any questions feel free to comment uh, below and um, also if you're going to be participating in uh, with my clinic if you're going to come to the uh, NMRA show in Dallas um, I'm having my clinic on September 26th I believe at 11 a.m. So I uh, hope to see you there if you're gonna, if you're uh, participating, and I really can't wait to meet you guys in person. And so this is Joey G with Touch of the Brush Model Weathering. Um, I, I'm gonna try to put a video out maybe that Friday of the show, just to have something that's being uploaded on YouTube to keep the content going. If not, you'll probably have something the week after. Until then, you guys have a great week and a great weekend. I hope to see you in Dallas.